So what can you say about the prices of goods? Have they gone up or they are fair? Yeah, it's normal. Sometimes less, sometimes go down. Okay. So different, different. Has the sanction affected the, the sanction? Has it affected the prices of goods here? No. Uh, you know, at the section, price of go down. Go down or up? Oh, I mean up. 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 Oh, okay. Yes. Okay. But people are still buying, right? People are still coming to buy. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel and today I'm in one of the most popular and the biggest supermarket in Moscow and today I've decided to bring you guys to check the current prices of goods nine months after the sanction. I hope you guys enjoy it. Click on the subscribe button, like this video and let's enjoy it. Let's see the prices. Come with me. So let's start from orange. We have some orange, banana, tangerine. I have to this spot in Africa. Uh, it's about, um, this is about 100 rubles per kilo. The prices here are per kilo. So we have um, apple. So we have different type of um, sizes and type of apple. This is um, 119 per kilo. We have the smaller one, um, 65 rubles per kilo, 109. And, um, Let's check some um, veggies here. We have some veggies, some nice veggies. Yeah. Broccoli, pepper, um, ginger. All these are per kilo. The prices are per uh, kilo. We have um, tomato. Yeah, we have tomato here, yeah, different prices for tomato. Yeah. Uh, let's check. Uh, we have some salad. Yeah, we have some salad here. Yeah. Then this is where you bring it to weigh it to check the weight and the price of what you've gotten. Uh, you can see him trying to use it. Good. And uh, we have some cut canned foods here, yeah. corned beef uh, and the rest. Majorly these are used for making fried rice uh, in, uh, in Nigeria. We have some tomato crush. Yeah, we have some tomato crush, some pepper crush. Yeah, huh? Okay, let's check. Um, this is um Irish potato, as we call it in in Nigeria. Irish potato. These are packed. Um, we have some carrots here. Some fresh carrots here, and uh, it's just about forty rupees per kilo. Uh, we have the ones that are not that clean. <laughs> yeah, with a lesser price, of course, definitely. But just nineteen rupees per kilo. Uh, we have onions, uh, about 50 rubles per kilo. Uh, then we have, um, yeah, so this is a shopping cart. What well, it is traditionally used to shop cart, and you can see the bag of an elderly person inside, it's just like a shopping cart for an elderly person. So, yeah, so we let's check the the milk section where well, we have uh, milk uh, milk is called Moloko in Russia actually and we have different prices of milk different prices of milk uh, from 100 rubles, 65 rubles. Yeah, depends on what you want. So we have some, some milk. And uh, we have yogurt here. We have yogurt. Mm -hmm. uh, we have 
have a lot of bread here, so though most of the bread are not really that cool with we Africans because it's not that um, it's not that buttered like um, so we have a lot of bread here. Most of the supermarkets in Russia produce, they produce that bread and the cheapest product the cheapest product in Russia is this coco coco stove very very cheap as you can see it's just about 20 rubles for the <laughs> for the loaf of bread. I can see the worker trying to arrange the cakes. Yeah, trying to arrange the cakes there. We have some freshly made um, snacks that you could buy on the go and eat. Mm -hmm. And they're not expensive, they're just about 39 rubles, 37 rubles. So here yeah, we have some, um, uh, what is this, um, some cheese, we have some cheese here, and um, we have some cookies here, we share the uh, food prices, and uh, then uh, yeah, a lot of snacks here, cookies here. And Christmas is coming, so decoration. Uh, you could buy your decorations here for your Christmas to decorate your house, your offices for Christmas. These are so nice, and I don't think they are that expensive. They are cheap ones. Yeah, Christmas is coming, so Christmas sales is around the corner already. Mm -hmm. People say Russians don't, uh, don't celebrate Christmas. That's a big lie. We really celebrate Christmas here. Mm -hmm. You can see. Yeah. And this is uh, really expensive. Then we have um, a mini zoo magazine where we have food for cats and dogs. Yeah. So we have this. Then we have payment system, you could make your payment with this uh, application. So, this is a fairly big supermarket actually. You can get your croissant here. You can get your croissant here. And as you can see, the supermarket is fairly big. So, let's check. Um, Wines. So we have a lot of wines here. Depends on your pocket and your taste. A lot of wines here. You can see people trying to pay themselves. Uh, some will still need the assistance of the of the workers here to put them through. So let's check some noodles. Let's check. Here we have noodles, different types of noodles, and it depends on the noodles. It, it ranges in prices. Yeah. Some cereals. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's a maggi to seasoning your food. Some maggies to season your food, and uh, we have some hot dogs. Let's check the hot dogs. So, what can you say about the prices of goods? Have they gone up or they are fair? Yeah, it's normal. Sometimes less, sometimes go down. Okay. So different, different. Has the sanction affected the the sanction? Has it affected the prices of goods here? No. Uh, you know, at the section, price of go down. Go down or up? Oh, I mean, oh, 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 oh yes. okay, oh, okay. But people are still buying, right? People are still coming to buy. Yeah. yeah. Wow, nice, nice meeting you. Okay, nice to meet yeah. you. Yeah. Have a good day. Yeah. So these are the prices of um, macaroni, spaghetti. Yeah. So, so I just spoke with one of the one of the guys here, and he said the price has actually gone up. 
which has been what I've always told you guys. The prices have gone up, but I think it's still fair. It's still fair, not too bad, not too bad. And this is water. Water is called Boda here. Yeah. So we have um, water for kids, actually. This is for kids. Yeah, this is, this is a kids session. And uh, we have rice, yeah. We have rice. We have different type of rice, yeah. We have rice. This is majorly the ones we eat here. Yeah. Our Africans eat, yeah. Very good for us. But um, we have other type of rice, yeah. Uh, so this is this is what we call maca, like um, yeah, maca. We use it in um, to eat <laughs> as swallow, yeah. So you can find here. Then I think we have jam here. Yeah, huh? And some cereals, corn flakes, and um, and the rest. Popcorn. I love popcorn. <laughs> popcorn and some candies. Mm -hmm. Yeah, feeding bottle for children. Mm -hmm. Then we have uh, pampas, yeah, diapers. Uh, yeah, as I said, this product is always cheap, as you can see, it's just uh, 99 rubles. So we have diapers for kids, and uh, we have food for babies. Uh, I can, I think I just saw naan. Yeah, naan. This is <laughs> this is very popular in Africa. Naan. Yeah. So. so let's check um, the prices for juice. So we have juice here. Yeah. One twenty rubles. One fifty rubles. My God. So we have prices for juice here. Yeah. Um, juice, yeah. We have stationery here. Yeah. You can get your cards or whatever you want to get. Books. Christmas wish, uh, wishes. Uh, we have some deodorant here. Yeah. Roll on. Uh, body spray, mm -hmm. wall on and body spray, uh, the sanitary pad, mm -hmm. and you could get your pillow here, yeah. about 3,000 rupees for a pillow, and yeah, this is water, this is where you could get your water, ranges and prizes, yeah. These are your soap you could use in um, washing. We have some cookies here. Yeah? So we have the both old and young working here. Yeah? <laughs> Everybody's busy working. Yeah. I think this is just um we have some creams, body lotions. Hello. Have some body lotions here. Yeah. You can look at the supermarket so cool. Uh, body lotions here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, you could buy your uh, kitchen utensils here. Yeah. From whiskers um, to knives to cups. Um, so Fry pan, uh, spoons. Uh, now you could get your shrimps here, yeah? seafood here, yeah? which are you could see the prices. Hmm? Yeah, well preserved. Okay. So you can get 
the foil here, the plate, covered plate with covers, cups. Um, look at um, um, canned drinks over here. Um, some veggies. Let's check some veggies out. People are, I don't know, people are out as early as this to get things at the supermarket because this is this is just about um, 12 noon. I, I thought everybody would be at work, but yeah. So we have beef here. We have beef here. Very expensive. Yeah. We have beef here and uh, yeah. So we have beef here. So let's check. Let's check some dried fish. Really prepared and um, live fish. You see the fish live. Uh -huh. Yeah. So I think to get it for around um, 900 per kilo. I thought for three fish. So you could you could scale your fish um, your fish here, wherever you buy it, you could scale it here. And you can see well frozen, well preserved. So this is so nice. So basically the supermarket is um is filled up. So the sanction has not affected the availability of goods at the supermarket because Russians are self-sufficient, they could provide whatever they want to eat themselves. So I can fish and um, you can just pick up whatever you want to get. Yeah. These are seasonings. As you see, both old and young are working here. That is what she has for you. There's no sentiment, both old and young, you're working. No free food for anyone. Women drive lorries, men drive lorries. We have chicken, prices of chicken, yeah. Uh, it's actually per kilo, 230 per kilo. Yeah. Wow, this is yummy, it's looking yummy, man. I'm hungry. Yeah, freshly prepared food. Everywhere is looking filled up. Everywhere is looking filled up. So these are the prices of eggs from um, 100 rubles, uh, 114 rubles, and uh, so we have it depends on the size and. Um, the number of eggs inside so we have to up to 300 rubles for about 30 of them we also have the um, also have the mayonnaise and um and coal yeah okay. we have the cheese yeah. your balloons for the operation This is where people could actually eat out and um, get whatever they want to get and uh, so, and um, 
the way out, you can see. The, the shopping cart being closed. And we have different ATM machines where you could get your money. And it's actually a very big shopping complex. So guys, I think I've been able to take you guys around the supermarket and you've seen the prices yourself. And uh, we want to get to 1,000 subscribers before the end of the month. Support me by clicking this, this subscribe button, like this video so that it gets to more people. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye.